Welcome back, starting off on the right hand side of the tank. Leading the lead with side shots today. But mainly focusing on the left hand side. Nice angle, ended up cleaning the salt creep. Need to come back through, do another job off of the uh, return nozzles. New return pump provides a higher flow. And so I have strong flow coming out both the right and left side. About 300 or so gallons uh, per hour is flowing through the sump. All corals are doing well. You'll see in a moment that it's just the toll stool that hasn't opened yet. All other leather corals, mushrooms, LPS, and the SPS are doing fine except for that one coral. It usually takes it a while to adjust uh, to a less dirtier water basically. But it will come around soon. One of my favorite shots of the tank. All the corals over here are doing well. Couple close up shots of the fish. They may start venturing due to those two recent deaths. Um, I guess fourth quarter of last year, uh, maybe sooner, but I noticed in the fourth quarter of last year. So I'll probably start looking at maybe adding some new fish here coming up next month. Yellow fox spawn is open. Today I did dose one full dropper. It's also Wednesday, so I dose the Red Sea um, coral colors. Um, I'll do two to three mils each after the lights turn off. I'll drop the rest of my water parameters in the, the description below. And Singulera seems to have uh, branched off a little bit. It looks like it's splitting. And close up uh, the toadstool. The only coral that hasn't fully opened, but it will. Again, it normally does this uh, whenever I really shift the water parameters, even slightly. I think this is probably the most sensitive coral in a tank. Um, next to probably the Kenya tree. Part of it is because it's right near the return nozzle, and so if I change something in the sump, 